Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice square root math problem? From here, let's use two methods. From the first method here, and what we are given, which is square root of x, then square root of x, also square root of x, then square root of x which is equals to 5 from here then here let's square both sides in this method the square on this side and also the square on this side and uh, here square we cancel the square root we are left with x root x then we have root x then root x and which is equals to 5 square from there, that's 5 times 5, which is 25. Then also, the next step we can also square again. So we square both sides. And then from here, the square here will affect x and also this square root. So we have x squared, then times square root of x. Then root x, root x, then also square, which is equal to, <coughs> here we have 25 square, then square here also cancel square roots, then this gives us s square times x, then root x, root x, which is equal to, here we have 25 squared as 25 times 25, which is 625. Then, similarly, next step we can also square both sides from here. Then, from here, what we have before we square, let's bring this one together. On what we have here, that is, this is x raised to power 1. So from the law of indices, we can write it as x raised to power 2 plus 1, that's 3. Then root x, also root x, which is equal to 6, uh, 25. Then now let's square again. Square both sides. Then the square will affect x raised to power 3, which is now x raised to power 3, then square. And also it will affect this square root, which is square root of x, then root x, then square as well, which is equal to 625 square. Then from here, this gives us this power multiply, and we have x raised to power 6, then this square cancel square root, then times x root x which is 625 then square <coughs> and from here also we can bring this together this is x raised to power 1 so this will be x raised to power 6 plus 1 which is 7 then root x and it's equal to 625 square from here then in the next step Let's also square both sides again, and then we square this side, also we square this side, then the square will affect this x raised to power 7, so we have x raised to power 7, then square times root x, also square, which is equal to, here this power will multiply, this is 6, and 25 raised to power 4 then also here we multiply this power so we have x raised to power 14 and this cancel each other then times x which is equal to here we have 625 we can write it as 5 raised to power 4 and this 5 multiply itself 4 times then raised to power 4 and from here 
when we bring this together on the law of indices, this is x raised to the power 15, which is equal to 5 raised to the power 4 times 4 here is at 16. Then, let's remove this power 15 and multiply both power with 1 over 15. From here, this we cancel out and we are left with x, which is equal to 5 raised to the power 16 over 15. So here we have the value of x from here and this is the first method. Now let's use the second method and see what how that one will be solved as well. So from what we are given here yeah, which is square root of x then square root of x from here square root of x square root of x we have four root there then equals to five here we can write this and separate it and this will be root x then, then the second x here contains two roots so we have root then root x then times here contain three roots so we have root then root square root of also x then times this contain four now we have four roots then we have x is equals to 5 here then from here we can also rewrite this and this will be x raised to power half because square root is raised to power half then this will now be x raised to power half then raised to power half from here because of the 2 so here we have x raised to power half then raised to power half then raised to power half making 3 then here we have x raised to power half then raised to power half raised to power half raised to power half here making 4 which is equals to 5 then from the law of indices we can write this as x raised to power half then this multiply as x raised to power 1 over 4 then times here this multiply as x raised to power 1 over 8 then times here x raised to power 1 over 16 here then from here this is equals to 5 and we can bring this together from the law of indices we have seen this and the multiply it indicates that we can add the power so we have x here then the lcm here is 16 so 2 is 16 that's 8 times 1 that's 8 plus 4 is 16 4 times 1 that's 3 4 then plus 8 and 16 that's 2 times 1 that's 3 2 then plus 16 16 1 1 times 1 that's 1 then plus 1 equals to 5 so when we sum this up here we have x raised to power 15 over 16 equals to 5 then from here we can remove this power then we raise both sides to so, you know we multiply both power with the reciprocal here which is 16 over 15 and here we have 16 over 15 such that here it will cancel out and this will cancel out so we are left with x which is equals to 5 raised to power 16 over 15 and here we have the same thing with what we got from the first method thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos turn the notification bell on share this video and give it a thumbs up See you next class in bar for now.